السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم بیک ان مائی یوٹیوب چینل پریکٹیکل سیول انجینئرز ڈیئر ویورس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ اینڈ پریکٹیکل ٹاپک بیکاز میجورٹی آف مائی اسٹوڈنٹس ٹل می دیٹ دیٹ کائنڈلی پریپیئر اے شارٹ ویڈیو آن پلاننگ کمیشنس سو ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو start from the base and and explain very deeply that how the planning commission means pc1 prepared and what is the purpose of pc1 pc2 pc3 pc4 and pc5 so let's we start our today's lecture but first i will explain the project uh, management cycle so what is project and what is the project cycle so in this in this video we will start from the project uh, cycle so what project project management cycle what is project management cycle so the cycle of project management is start from from this point from the project management start from identification identification and preparation identification and preparation so the next the second step of project management is preparation of appraisal preparation of appraisal appraisal and approval approval so this is the second step of project life cycle the third step the third step which is uh, the most important step in the project life cycle that is uh, that is project authorization project authorization means authorization means activation activation of funds for release reels mean in a government sector there are a specific head for a uh, developmental project which is called adp so adp annual developmental developmental program so adp adp is specifically for developmental projects as well as for uh, other projects so the third step is activation means authorization of fund and the last one which close the project life cycle which close the project life cycle is implementation
implementation and uh, implementation and one step is more what are the project management cycle so the project management cycles are five five so sorry i close the project on three cycles here the fifth one here the fifth one the fifth one which close the project is called project project closure closure or completion so these are the five steps of project management now we will discuss the planning commission planning commission now we will discuss the planning commission one by one so the planning commission the first one is pc1 pc1 stand for planning commission number 1 so pc1 is a documents pc1 is the document is the documents which cover which covers almost all aspects aspects of the project all aspects of the projects means aspects mean aspects mean its social its social side it cover its social side its economical side economical side the third uh, developmental side developmental side and environmental side environmental side so these are the aspects of uh, pc1 these are the aspects which cover the uh, project so the second one is pc2 the second one is pc2 so pc2 is a feasibility report p c 2 is the feasibility feasibility report report which has to be prepared which has to be prepare for for mega projects and this pc2 is uh, a very important very the important which must which must to be in next with project pc1 so in the pc2 we prepare feasibility report means feasibility that where the project that where the project project is feasible for 
environment where the project is feasible for youth where the project is feasible for public sector public sector where the project is feasible is feasible for future so is it uh, the pc2 uh, covers uh, the feasibility of the project now three pc3 what is pc3 pc3 is quarterly progress report now pc3 pc3 is quarterly progress report on the specified pro forma and pc3 actually the pc3 is also a pro forma pc2 is also a pro forma pc1 is also a pro forma pc4 and pc5 also a pro forma so the pc3 actually actually cover cover financial and physical progress of a project and one important thing important thing is that pc3 will be submitted will be submitted on monthly basis so monthly basis mean monthly report so this is a progress pc3 is a progress report report pc3 is a progress report so the fourth one is pc4 so pc4 is a uh, uh, normally the project uh, closure report so pc4 the project completion or closure report which is which is mandatory mandatory to be submit submit to the client who client mean who fund who fund to be utilized or funding agency funding agency so <coughs> the fifth one is uh, uh, pc5 so pc5 is uh, uh, operational uh, report annual operational report means pc5 means that uh, um, this uh, this 
is annual operational report which must be regular regularly sub submitted to department for consecutive consecutively 5 years if you like this video so kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you for watching